Hello and welcome back. My name is Trisha Jaktiani and I am your advanced Excel trainer. We have already seen in our previous video how to create a pivot table and how it helps you to summarize your huge data. In this tutorial, we will learn about some additional features in pivot table and like grouping, naming a pivot table, refreshing your data in pivot and how to make your pivot table dynamic so if there is any new data added you will not need to change the source of the data so let's start with how to group a pivot table in excel pivot table you can group information such as dates or numbers to make it easier to see an overall total so let's see in my example sheet where i have the database and I have already inserted a pivot table in the different sheet. Now I need to check the total revenue earned in each year. In order to do that, I have the order date, which is already mentioned in my database here. Along with that, I have the total sales that is done on those dates. And I have other information like which channel does that data come from or that order come from which state is the order placed, the postal code, the country, manager name who's been managing this particular order, the category of the product, buyer's name, that is customer name. So if I go back to my pivot table, I will have all that headings which I can see there in the database can be available in the, will be available in the pivot table field list. Now, because I want to identify the total sales I will pick up the sales data and pull it and put it in the values column. Now, this needs to be divided as per the year. I have the order date mentioned here, but in my dashboard or database, I can see that the data is as per each date. So, you will see the dates, not the year. But if I drag this information, the order date, into the rows field, Excel will automatically show me grouped this into the year. If I press this plus sign, you will see that it is grouped into the quarter. If I again further collapse it down, you will see that, sorry, expand it down, you will see that it is showing me as per the month in that particular quarter. So now what is happening is Excel has automatically grouped the data into year, quarter and month. However, this is only available in the 2013 version or, or above where the grouping is done automatically by Excel for the dates that you drag it into the rows. But if you have any version lower than 2013, you will not see this. Instead, you will see this data as shown now in the pivot table. That means I have ungrouped the whole data to show you as per each date, what is the total or the sum of the sales done for each date. So if you want to group this data into a particular years, you will be able to right click on this and click on group in order to group them. And then say that you want to group it into years and remove the grouping from the month because we are only looking to group it as per the year and click on okay. Now your data is again grouped into years. And this is only grouped in years. You will not be able to expand it further because you have mentioned to Excel that you only want it as per the year. If you want to further drill it down or get it grouped into the months, you will be able to do that by using the group command again. You can either use the group command from right clicking on this or going on to the pivot table analyze button. You might also have pivot table uh, if you are using any other version of Excel like 2013 or 2016, you will be able to get your as an analyze button instead of pivot table analyze. Under the analyze button, again, you will be able to see under the group, uh, group, you will be able to see the group field and ungroup field. So you will, you will be required to click on the group field and click on the months because now I want to drill it down in months. So as soon as I click on OK, you will see that under the year, if you expand it further, you will be able to see the months as well. Now, as we have already seen in the previous video, if you want to collapse all together this, uh, this field, you will be able to right click and use the expand and collapse and 
collapse the entire feed. Then you will only be able to see the division as per the split as per the years. If you want to see only for 2015, sorry, 14 split of months, you can click on that particular data and check the details for them. So this is how you group your data in pivot table. Moving on to the next part that we are going to look at is how do you refresh your data in the pivot table and why do you need to do that? Your pivot table data is picked up from your base data. And whenever there is a change that happens in the base data, your pivot table should ideally automatically update it in this pivot table. However, pivot table is not a live data. It will not automatically update it. In order to update any information that has changed in your base data, you will have to go to the pivot table, right click on that and press refresh. Or another way, you can again go to the analyze button or the pivot table analyze button on the uh, on your ribbon and under the data group, you will be able to see the refresh button. Click on the refresh button. There are two options. One is refresh and the second one is refresh all. If you click on the refresh button, you will only be able to refresh the pivot table, which is currently selected. If you click on refresh all, it will refresh all the pivot tables that are available in any sheets on the workbook. So let's see how does that work. I'm going on to the sheet where my base data is available. I will add one data for January 2017 in this line. So I've inserted one row. Before I enter, let's see what is the total sales for January. So I can see the total sales for January. Sorry, it's 2017. So let's go back and see. So in the pivot table, 2017, I'm going to drill it down and see for January, what is the total? So the total is 2885. So that's the total for the January sales. Going back to the base data, now I'm going to add one more date for January as 22nd January. 2017 there was one more order which has not been mentioned i'm going to keep the rest of the information same just to see if this is adding the information there so i'm going to add thousand uh, as a total sales for 22nd of jan so what should happen is from 2885 it should change to 3885 however excel has not updated it automatically because your pivot table is not the live information so in order to do that you will have to go on to the pivot table analyze or the analyze tab and go to refresh click on refresh if you refresh like i said if you just click on refresh it will only refresh this particular selected pivot table if you click on refresh all it will automatically refresh all the pivot tables that are available in this workbook so this is how your refresh uh, command works in the pivot table Moving on to the third part that we were talking about was how do you give a name to your pivot table? In order to give a name to the pivot table, you can go on to the analyze tab again. For all the changes that you want to make on the pivot table, you will find that in the pivot table analyze button. Okay, so going back on the analyze button, I will click on the left hand side where you can see the pivot table group. You will see the pivot table name option given. And just below that, you will see the name given as pivot table one, two, three, as many pivot tables you add, that many numbers will be added. So now it says pivot table one. I can give the name as sales, sales per year. And press enter. Now, this pivot table name you can see is given as sales for years. So now it is easily identifiable which pivot table are we talking about. This will be very useful when we are learning slicers, which we are going to do in the next video. Because in the slicers, we are going to uh, connect or uh, rip, do a connection between all the pivot tables that are there in the workbook. At that time, it will be easily identifiable which pivot table are we trying to connect to the slicer so when we are seeing that this naming of the pivot table will be very very useful now moving on a little further and seeing how you can also 
design your pivot table or show a different design on the pivot table as going on to the design tab you will be able to select the styles from this design tab any of the styles that you like which is the darker one or the lighter shades that you like you can always change it from the style which is given on the pivot table here. this was about how you can change the style moving a little further now we are going to see how to make your pivot table dynamic when i say dynamic if i make any changes onto this pivot table of course i will have to go and refresh the pivot table however if i make any or um, add any data in this pivot table that is in the new row in that case pivot table will not be able to identify the new data because in the source it has only picked up the data from that particular range so let's see if i add a new data does it even is it even able to identify that so we have data let's see until 2019 let's assume we had some order for 2020 and i am going to try and add that data at the bottom why i am doing that is because we want to see if it is automatically coming here as 2020 so it will be easily we will be able to identify so i am going back and i am adding one information for say 20th of jan 2020 i have received a new data order so the data remains the same and i am going to add again 1500 as the amount for the total sales now if i go back to the pivot table i'll try to refresh this by going on to analyze tab refresh it uh, one more thing i want to hi highlight is if you have a version lower than 2010 or uh, if you have a version 2010 or lower you will not have the analyze tab you might have the options tab so all these options will be available under the options tab coming back under the analyze tab this time i am going to click on the refresh again but we can see that the 2020 is not yet been added that means if you add a new data or a new row or a new column pivot table will not update it even after clicking on refresh so how do we ensure that if a new data is added it automatically gets refreshed in this information so one way is of course if there is a new data added you will have to change the source in order to change the source i'll go on to the analyze tab click on change data source and click on change data source again it will take me to the place where the data source belong to now i'll have to delete the table or the range where this data is picked up from and select the whole data again and click on okay this way pivot table will be able to get the new data added now for 2020 you can see that the 1500 is now added however if i add another information again again i'll have to go back and to the change data source to get this new information added but if i do not want that to happen i just want the pivot table to automatically update whenever i press on refresh button even the rows and the columns that has been added newly added should be it should be added to the pivot table in order to do that like we have already seen in the previous videos to make any formula or the functions dynamic we make our table or the base data in convert into a table so in this case also we will convert our database into a table to make our pivot table dynamic so going back to insert tab click on table my table has header click on okay now it has been converted into a table and if i add new data so we already know for 2020 i have a data for 1500 now i'm going to add the data for 2000 say 12 just adding the same information but changing the date to 2012 so that we we are able to see if that is added to the pivot table now it will not be added but let's try by refreshing are we able to get the data added you can see that the 2012 data is also added now so 2015 and then as well 2020 and now 2012 so this is how you can see that if you have converted your database from where the pivot table is picked into a table it will automatically update in the pivot table when you refresh it so that means you can 
make your pivot table dynamic by using the range or converting a range into a table so every time you want to make your any function or formulas or pivot table dynamic please ensure that you convert your database into a table table is a very very useful tool in your in your excel hope you found this useful we are going to cover the slicers and the timeline in the next videos please keep watching for more videos on the pivot and the advanced excel thank you for watching to know more follow and subscribe to upgrad